you can't turn your phone while live. What? Ugh. Okay, I think, I think I got it that time. Sitting in a new spot, so I'm trying to figure out where to, to point the camera. So I just um, hadn't been on the page um, recently doing a haul from, it wasn't really thrifting, I guess it was, we went to a flea market, the flea market at the fairgrounds um, in Des Moines yesterday. It was at um, the 4-H building. It was good. It's free to get into a um, huge variety of items, kind of everything that you think might be at a, at a flea market. So um, I am just kind of, it's just a random assortment. I guess we did hit the DAV as well. I didn't find very much there. Um, I don't even know where to start. So I guess I'll start with this pile kind of in front of me. Um, a lot of you are going to recognize it. It's it's called Indigo, and it's by Anarcho. And the lady gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten pieces for twenty bucks. So there, I had quite a few, and I was only going to pick up a couple pieces. And she's like, "Oh, you can just have it all for twenty bucks." So. Um, one of the, the really good pieces in it is the ashtray, which believe it or not, they're very, ashtrays have become very collectible. So, um, just a, a little saucer and then there's, I've got a small platter as well. So two pitch, three pitchers, two jelly jars of salt and pepper, and then three little Ash, well, an ashtray and two little plates. So, I know I'm not supposed to talk to you, but I don't know. Here, have these. <laughs> okay. Here, you want to hand me that one next? Okay, this, um, this still has its tape on the top. This uh, teapot is... Um, made in Japan. I got it at um, the DAB. I thought it was so pretty. So pretty. You can tell it's made in Japan. Yeah. You, With the yeah, gold. It kind of has that. And it, it matches all of the brown Bettys. Mm -hmm. It's got the the Nippon mm -hmm. um, where it's raised. The glaze is raised, which is kind of cool. So really, really pretty. So we'll get that priced and out here let me let me yeah. here and then um transfer wear blue transfer wear on iron stone let's see and i'm gonna flip it upside down um the pattern is blue brook and it's made in staffordshire england so just a really pretty um river scene on that one and that one came from the flea market and then I'm going to kind of go back and forth a little bit. This little, I don't even know what it is, just a little trinket box. And the really fun thing about this is it has more inside. We are missing, I know, isn't that fun? We are missing the middle container, but it the, the tiny one is there as well. So we actually have three lids and two containers, which found it at the DAV, so who knows? Fun little trinket dish and then these little um, brown cream and sugar and you know I haven't taken off the label maybe I'll take off the label <laughs> it is I think it's made in England which means it's um, got a little more value than the ones made in Japan. It's redware, um, which is just that they used the red um, clay. 
Ugh. I mean, I appreciate them putting the tape on, but sometimes it takes off the, the decoration. So, oh, no, it does say made in Japan. Oh, well, they're still really cute. Um, and I've never seen them before. So a little creamer and sugar. Pretty blue flowers on them. And they stack. And I got tape stuck to my fingers. Oh, look, we can put it in our little trash can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do... Oh. <laughs> now I'm being handed things. This really pretty Majolica base. And it has like a, a Swiss chalet on it. Can you see that really well? So it is hand painted. It's a good mark on the bottom too. Um, I'm not, Emily did look it up. Um, I forget what I paid for it, but the value, <laughs> the value goes up um, to $125 um, depending on the shape that of this um, that she was finding. Um, I think ours is probably more in the $25 range, so not, um, but it was kind of hard to tell. She didn't find an exact match, but, um, I don't like to price my stuff quite as high as we find it online, um, because, because I don't. <laughs> All right, that's good. And another little find from the flea market is this little child's game. It has beads. I don't, you can more hear them than see them. But it's got four little indentations at the corner where you, um, you know, you gotta get the balls to, to rest in there. And it's got French um, graphics words on there. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. I have no idea on the age or what price we're gonna put on it because I couldn't find it um, when I started looking. So, no idea, but super cute. All right, our next item is pyroto py pyrotography. I, oh yeah. I, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's uh, br wood burning. And I think you guys can see that. It's his ties. And then it's got a really pretty lady. Uh, very Art Nouveau. The sides are all... Um, have that burnt wood. And then the inside is just as beautiful, if not more beautiful, because you can actually still see, mm -hmm. see it really that well. Yeah. And... Does that say ties on it? It says ties. So they keep the ties in there? They would put their ties in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emily saw some. Emily was doing a lot of the um, looking up of stuff today. Um, and she said that a lot of them were glove boxes as well. But this one specifically says ties. So that's kind of cool. And um, I, I think this is, we're going to put $40 on this one. So, which is Neither here nor there. It's forty dollars if you'd like that. <laughs> and then I this type of art is got a a name, and I I don't know what it is. <laughs> but they're really common in like advertising or poems or sayings, and you'll see. Um, and they'll have those simple gold frames. I think they were just meant to be gifts. Um, but they're very. There's a lot of this style out there. So, just cute. Cute little poem about your anniversary. Thank you, dear assistant. I'm not here. <laughs> no, we don't see you at all. Um, another booth. Um, she had a ton of roosters, so I don't know if she bought someone's collection. But I picked out three that I, that I like. So, these two, which actually are identical except for the paint job. <laughs> you see that? Like the tails are... Yeah, roosters are really, yeah. yeah, really collectible. And then this one I liked because his tail was so cool. His eyes give you kind of the side eye, but um, I, I loved him for his tail. Yeah, she probably had 
20 roosters. I just, you know, when you go and you're looking for stuff to resell, you could buy a million things, but I didn't. <laughs> Lynn is probably thrilled that I didn't buy a million things. Um, another booth had a lot of salt and pepper shakers in it, so I just picked out a, a few that I thought were cute. But this little kitty cat, and it's a single. Um, there was no match for it. But I loved the colors and like the realistic pose of her. Just a little bow tie. Very, very dapper. And then if you've been in the shop, you know I have kind of a pear theme going on. And I think the pear theme display is going to go up to Junk Jubilee. I think that's going to get boxed up and sent up there. Although I sold a pear this morning. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Just two little pear salt and peppers. And then I bought these because, well, they're never going to make these again. <laughs> You might find pear salt and peppers, but you're never going to find little Native American, little boy and girl salt and peppers. So just very, very cute. But they were adorable. Probably a, oh, let's see. They actually do have a mark on them. Art, art mark, <laughs> made in Japan. I think art mark is a good brand. We're going to say it is. We're going to say it is. Yes, we are. Um, all right. So the next thing I'm going to do is a matchbox. This is so cool. Vulcan fireplace matches. I really bought it for the scene that was on it because I was looking for pictures of scenery. This is Eric Dahlberg. Um, I think... Oh, that might be who did the engraving. Gallant warrior, prudent civil servant, and a good artist. This is the panorama of Stockholm in the 17th century. So very cool. The box is not that old, obviously, but... And then we were thinking around with it, and it still has the original matches in it. So I thought that was really, really cool too. And then Emily pointed out it even has a little drip of wax from when a candle got lit on it. And I haven't researched the price on this yet, so I don't know. Oh, but first you have to get it back. Oh, it's getting caught right there. I wonder if I should pull it all the way out and put it in front of there. I mean, I could do that, but... Oh, and here, here, since I've got the matches out. These did not get used very much. That's the match. It's a really nice full box. Okay, put it back in. Don't try and shove it the wrong direction. Okay. Ta-da! Yay! All right. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is this random planter. <laughs> I don't know. Just a planter with leaves on it. But it'd be so pretty with like purple pansies in it or something. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be pretty? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Just I liked it. So I bought it. Just <laughs> really my reasoning for most of this pile. <laughs> I liked it and I bought it. All right. Let's do the little lammies next. Um, I bought all of these lambs from the same same guy. So a lamb planter. So if you still need to put out some Easter decor, how cute would that be with the succulent in there? Um, it has been used as a vase or a planter before, so I don't know that I would recommend putting jelly beans on there. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could. But. And then this adorable little lammy. Look how cute that is. Well, his little tail. I loved him. So, so cute. Oh, look, my husband is watching us. Is he? Yes. Where's he at? Yeah, where are you at, Andy? Oh, 
He just left us. Oh. oh, but Penny is on here. Penny, look at all my treasures that I got. All right. Emily was very concerned with his expression, and I am a little bit too. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> but it's an old, old piece of chalkware. <laughs> I don't know anything about it except for his expression's a little dopey. <laughs> and then these two little guys, I they're just unpainted. I don't know what's up with that, but little chalkware pieces, a little bit rough. But I don't see any like actual damage. They're just unpainted. So cute, cute, cute. And then, oh, I got all of the sheep except for that green planter for five bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Oh, now he's back on. Okay, Andy, we want to know where you're at. Um, okay, so two more little chalkware sheep. Just love these little guys. They're like leaping over the hedge. I don't know. They're curly wool. So these belong in someone's Easter display for sure. We'll try and get them out for this for our event this weekend. We're doing on Saturday, we are doing an event for um, Easter and any of the any items that you can put in your Easter basket are going to be 25% off. So that's kind of fun. Oh, you're fine. I'm just going to show Andy's stuff from. Oh, we're going to need some goo gone for that. <laughs> we got it. We got goo gone. Okay. Andy went thrifting on Saturday. Um, he likes to do that. So this is one of his. Purchases. It is the Last Supper in pressed glass, an amber pressed glass. Do you want to show the Jesus picture? Oh, we should show the velvet Jesus. He's so proud of that. I mean, which is a, adorable, but. <laughs> and then here's another item we got. It's a wooden wagon. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's pretty cute. That could go in your red and white display. It could go in our summer red and white display. All right, this is another item Andy is incredibly proud of. It's a Velvet Jesus. <laughs> How awesome is that? He really liked that. He said it was his favorite mm -hmm. item from, oh, it was made in Mexico. I just saw that. Yep, I think they like to do that. Okay, um, this next item is so cool. This is so cool. This is a chocolate box. This is how boxes of chocolate should be given to you. I would say it has got a silk outside. Um, it is paper, but um, the brand, I guess, is Art Style Chocolate. So I can't imagine how beautiful the chocolates were in this box. But it still has its original um lining in it it's got a, a bottom one a top one and someone kindly left the cellophane and the wrap or the chocolate labels do you see that how awesome is that they don't they just don't do this anymore and we don't save our boxes of chocolate anymore either oh wow you can like take this bottom tray out and then you would just be left with a beautiful box Wow, that's amazing. So, this is really cool. See that? See, I bought it because I really like the scene, but then I started getting into it, and it's just beautiful. So I think this has got got pretty good value. Oh, it was two pounds of chocolate. It says, no, wait, two pounds. They're like me. They eat the chocolate and put the box <laughs> away. Yes. Um, manufactured by Art Sale Chocolate Company, St. Louis, USA, Boston. Does it have a year? No, it doesn't have a year. I, I'm guessing I can find it. I just. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just so pretty. I just love it. I wish I had 
space in my home to like. <laughs> Get rid of your kids. Get, oh, well, we're, work, working on we're working on getting rid of the kids. Um, a very old wastebasket. And it has grapes on it, Lynn. <laughs> oh, can we put grapes in it? We'll, we'll fill it with grapes. Probably put tons of grapes in here. I Okay, sorry. The, the lighting in the room is kind of bad. Can you see this? It's, it's dark. Yeah. Or the, it's, it's bright, but it's not shining in the right spots or something. I don't know. So yeah, just great vines all over. Very, very Art Nouveau, kind of like the other piece. So I don't know if, if somebody made it or if it was manufactured. There's no markings on it anywhere. It's got tiny little nails um, along all four corners. So very, very cool. This thing has seen some garbage. <laughs> can I use it as a garbage can? You would not, yes, yeah. let's do it. We deserve a beautiful garbage can. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then another box I picked up. Oh, is this one. And obviously it's metal from the clinking. And it's, um, what's in there? B. Heisman, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's a jewelry box. I tried to open it earlier. Yeah, I didn't want to force it, it. It is difficult. I don't know if there's something that you could put on it so it would be a little easier. Um, so I bought this and the other box and then a bunch of prints all for, once again, $20. So I think, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I assume, oh, well, this is a vintage metal candy box. But I don't know. It just it feels more like a jewelry box to me. But what do I know? Huh. Could could be a candy box. Could be. Yeah. So this this is in it. It's all part of it somehow. But it, that doesn't fit down in the. Yeah, I don't see where that's a part of it. But, but it's gold. Yeah, it, and it matches the, yeah. the same. Um, oh. Sorry. Did you just spray? Goo gone. Goo gone. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful gold and blue. Oh, the smell of goo gone. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. Okay, and then um, we got a few more things here. So I'm looking, um, or we are all looking for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Landscapes. Yeah. Landscapes. So I'm like, I couldn't find a lot of um, framed landscapes, but we are also buying cool frames when we find them so we'll try and do some um matching up of of prints and frames so just a, like a safari scene on that one and then i think it's probably rice paper you should have gloves on <laughs> i shouldn't have gloves on um it's yeah, there's words on the back I can't read, but yeah, that one's super pretty. Yeah, the oils in my hands are probably not good on for these things, but we'll get them in frames and and then um, just an English cottage scene or French. It actually has French French words. Editions of Henry Fleuron. I don't know. And then another one of those. Oh, they're gonna look cool. Aren't, aren't they gonna be fun? Yeah. yeah. I think it's like at a, it's an 11 by 14. Mm, 8 by 10, I think. It might be a little bigger than 8 by 10, but I think that's hmm. an 8 by 10. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, and then another print. Same artist. It's another cottage. I thought those were pretty cool. And then I've got a lithograph that is unframed and she's a little bit rougher shape, but I loved her. I love her hair. What? She should go in an ornate frame. She should go in a very ornate, a gilded mm -hmm. frame for sure. Loved this one. And 
you can tell lithographs by the the way the print looks. Oh, this is Jenny Lind. <laughs> like the baby bed, Jenny Lind? Yes, like the baby bed and also like the famous singer, Jenny Lind. Oh, okay. Famous singer. Okay, so now we know if I would look at my things. This is Jenny Lind. <laughs> like like the bed, but Yeah. Do you, did you watch um the greatest showman? Oh yeah. She was the bad guy in that. Yeah. Sort of the bad guy. Yeah. 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 That Jenny Lind. That Jenny Lind. That Jenny Lind. Okay, and then the last piece of ephemera that I bought, which is just means old fancy paper, is this sheet of jack up oh, But it's a, a really old one, Lynn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love those. Aren't they fun? So I thought Look we could do kids. some fun little puppies. Yes, Aww. puppies, little children, kitty cats. They do have weird eyes. <laughs> they do. So I don't think, I mean, I have no idea. Emily and I were kind of going back and forth. So they're just reproductions of um, of old postcards or, or whatever. Um, but, the, but it's still an, an older piece because you can see the aging around and it is just black and white so I don't know but I still think framing them would preserve it better than um, just leaving a flat sheet of paper so all right uh, a couple more things and then we are oh my God. Oh, and that, that one over there too you and I I'll do that one first oh but the other one is just a scary family <laughs> Did that surprise you? Were you not expecting that? Oh, Jenny Lynn would look yeah. beautiful in there. Yeah. She would. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just, I think I just reflected the the sunlight into the camera. That's. I'm sorry, you guys, if I blinded you. Um, just another landscape. And um, I think that this is just a print. I don't think it's a lithograph. It doesn't have that... I don't, I don't really know. I'm going to have to do some more studying up on how to tell a print, a faded print from a lithograph. So, and then, um, I think this is the last piece. Did I get everything? Yep. I think I did. Everything the is here. The velvet Jesus. Yeah, we got the velvet Jesus. Okay, I'm, tr I'm trying not to, like, reflect the sunlight on you. So, um, this came from the DAB, and do I have it backwards or upside down? I feel like I do. There. Okay. So, That's um, better. It's better. Um, just a basket of pretty blue flowers. And I, it's got a silver frame. I, I don't think it's terribly old. Um, you know, maybe the 80s. But I just thought it was really pretty. Basket of flowers. All right. So um, you guys have first dibs on all of this stuff. If you want anything, you can comment under the video or send a message to our page. And I can give you prices. But... I just want you guys to know that, you know, I really appreciate you sticking with me from the beginning. And um, so if you guys want any of this stuff, let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, and it'll slowly go out into the shop. But um, yeah, just comment if you want anything. So thank you so much for being here. And um, let's see. So Thursday night we have a class and we're doing stacks of books with pretty flowers. And, um, the picture I have of that is, is kind of elaborate, but you don't have to make your stack of books quite that crazy. If, <laughs> if you like simpler things, it can be a simpler stack of books. And then, um, Saturday is our, um, Easter event where we're going to do 25% off things for your Easter basket. So... And that's kind of up to you. All right. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you all for being here and watching this. And we will, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.